Meanwhile, the South Korean government today was forced to play the role of debt collector. That is because North Korea missed a Monday deadline to pay off $8.6 million of a loan provided back in 2007. Well, if history is any indicator, the South should not expect a prompt payment. Kim Hyun-bin reports. Seoul is calling on Pyongyang to repay millions of dollars in loans that were borrowed years ago. A South Korean Unification Ministry official said Friday that the communist regime was due to make a payment of 8.6 million U.S. dollars on Monday as part of an 80 million dollar loan given to the North back in 2007. The loan came in the form of raw materials that were used to produce clothing, footwear and soap. With interest included, Pyongyang is due to pay 86 million dollars to the South over the next 10 years. South Korea state-run Export-Import Bank sent a message to the North last month, informing it of its payment obligation. But Pyongyang has yet to reply. It's not the first time Pyongyang has missed a loan payment. They've missed several deadlines to pay down $724 million of food loans provided by South Korea in 2000 and 2007. All told, the communist regime is due to repay the South over $931 million by 2037, including principal and interest for food and raw material loans. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.